Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, Festivus to everybody. My name's Stuart. Hey, I'm here today to talk about some wonderful Christmas gift ideas or stocking stuffing, stocking stuffings, stocking stuffers that you can get for your loved ones who like to go cruising. My name is Stuart. This is Ship to Shore Cruise News. Let's get into it. So today I'm going to go over some of my favorite things to bring on a cruise and these are great items that you can get for those people that you know that love to go cruising as well. These are wonderful suggestions and they prove to me to be worthwhile. I'm going to start off with something you hear a lot about and that's magnetic hooks. These hooks have a magnet on the back and they stick to the wall and doors of pretty well every cruise ship I've seen. Apparently there are some that they don't work so great on but hey you got to try them out. I honestly didn't think I'd use these. I didn't think they were going to be a good idea uh, until I used them. It was amazing. I put them up on the wall inside the cruise ship and all of a sudden I found I was hanging lanyards on them. I was hanging different things on them throughout the cruise and it was a great way to just put something up against the wall instead of on a countertop and you're looking for it later. If you grab them, if you bring them, you're going to find out that you're going to use them. This is one of my top suggestions. There's a link below where you can get them. Some people like to decorate their door with stickers out front. Well, guess what? You can buy a pack of door stickers. You can get these on Amazon. Uh, these ones here I have. I like to use them. They're fish, tropical fish. You got your starfish. You got your seagulls. You got your captain's hat. Hey, there's a link down there. This makes a really good suggestion for a stocking stuffer as well. I have another suggestion. <clears throat> this is something you knock. I don't have a link for it. It's a waste of your time to click and pick up. It's a little tiny flashlight for your cabin in the middle of the night. It has magnets on the back. You can get this at pretty well any type of dollar store. Just take a look. Magnet in the back. I thought it was silly the first time I had it. But you know, in the middle of the night when you need to use a washroom, you don't want to wake everybody up. This here provides so much light, it's perfect. Also on the cruise, another suggestion is a little envelope, special packages for those room tags that you put on your luggage. This one here is for Norwegian Escape back in 20, March of 2023. These here, you put the piece of paper with your room in it, room number in it. it comes with this bandy wire clasp. You put it on, you screw it together, onto your bag, hopefully, and this way, a piece of paper that you staple isn't going to tear off. Great idea, great suggestion. There's a link below where you can get some for a great stocking stuffer. Another great thing is sometimes rooms don't have very many outlets. Uh, I was on the Crown Princess recently, and there was two outlets in the entire room. Uh, and that's okay, it's an older ship. But nowadays, people need more power uh, options. So the first option I have here is this little plug-in power bar or power bank. This one here has two USB plugs uh, and has three regular outlets as well. This is very helpful even if it's just two of you going on a cruise. You can plug in your USB cables to charge whatever you want. Plus it turns this one plug into three. Another option is this guy right here with the cord. Okay, this is a cruise safe plug, power bar, power plug. It's got three plugs on it. It's got three USB ports and one USB-C port as well. It's got a nice long cable and this plug comes in at an angle. So it's gonna sit flush. It's not gonna be sticking straight out of the wall. It's gonna be flush against the wall. It's easy going to be easy to put on the countertop where we need. This is really handy. Now, these two products here, these are non-surge protected, and that's what you gotta remember when you get these and bring them on a cruise ship. Uh, this one here, what's it say? Cruise on. Uh, these are very good for the cruise lines. Now, I am told that someone did have a product similar to this, and it, because of the cord, it was uh, taken away until they left. Uh, but I've not had any problems and that's a very rare occurrence. Make sure it's surge 
protect so non surge protected and there's a link to one down below i like to use free wi-fi whenever i go somewhere whether it's at an airport a cruise terminal cruise port a coffee shop wherever i can get it i like to use it i know it's not the safest thing to do with my data because when i'm on those free wi-fi's anything i put over the internet from there is available for anybody on that free wi-fi network to see including hackers and they could try to steal my passwords banking information and photos as well to protect myself i use a vpn from a company called personal internet access what this ha allows me to do is to surf uh virtually invisibly on the internet nobody on that wi-fi network can see me the people providing the internet access can't see me and there's no logs kept of my traffic anywhere. What happens is as I put my information into my electronic device, it goes through what's called an electronic tunnel and it goes through the Wi-Fi out onto the internet where it's not being tracked. Now when I say even PIA doesn't log it, they don't keep any logs of your traffic or anything that you do when you go on the internet and that's been proven in court by a third party auditor. This is something safe and secure to keep your data safe and secure as well when you're surfing on the internet. Now, when you log into the personal internet access VPN, it will log in automatically to the closest server. Now in the United States, there's 50 high speed servers and they actually have 91 high speed servers in countries around the world as well, giving you access to data and information from other countries from wherever you are in the world. Now, why would this benefit you to be able to access a server in another country? Well, if there's a streaming service that provides different content in another country, what you can do is you can log into that VPN server from wherever you are, then that streaming service will think you're there in that country and you'll be able to access that content and data. So you'll be able to watch those shows and those movies that you can't watch at home. So just think if you're an American and you want to watch something that's only available in the UK, just log into a UK server. If you're a Canadian and you want to log into something in the United States, just log into a United States server. Now, logging in when you launch the app is easy. You'll automatically search and go to the fastest server it can find. Now, I said that I use it when I'm traveling on my personal electronic device. And what's great is that with one subscription, you can put this on an unlimited number of devices that you have. You can put this on your phone, your tablet, your laptop, your computer, your PlayStation, your Xbox, your Apple TV, your Fire Stick. You can put it on some smart TVs as well, giving you streaming access to different countries uh, from whatever device you want to use and giving you protection on all those mobile devices that you use when you're out at coffee shops, cruise ports or airports or wherever. Now, this is something that I use all the time and I think it's great. It's safe. It's secure. It's super easy to use. By using the link I have below, this will get you 83% off of their fees. This will bring the monthly membership fee down to $2.03. And that's it. $2.03, you get to be able to stream from different countries. You get to protect your data whenever you're on any device on anywhere. Your local IP won't even be able to track you and keep a log on you as well. Your government won't even know what you're doing on the internet as well. You'll be able to have freedom, privacy, access on as many devices as you have for $2.03 a month. And if you don't like it, there's a no hassle money back guarantee that's good for 30 days. I'm talking about power. When you're traveling, you never know when you're gonna have enough power for your electronic devices. Get one of these little power bank. They take up no room at all in your pocket, uh, in your luggage and so on. You have one of these charged, you're gonna be able to top up your phone, your tablet or whatever, whenever you need it uh, in an emergency. Have one of those, they're great little suggestions. Something else that you might wanna think about getting, in this little case here, you want something like this. Everybody these days has cameras, cameras, phones, electronic devices. This here holds your little SD cards, micro SD cards and regular SD cards as well. Uh, this one here in particular in my hand, this will hold up to eight. Uh, it protects them, it holds them safe. 
you can keep all your extra cards all together in one little uh, case like this. There's a link down below. Check it out. Yes. When you're traveling, if you're traveling a long distance, these suckers are really good to have. A lot of people put them on around their necks this way. I like to have it on this way here because then it protects my neck if I'm rolling forward. I recently upgraded. I don't have a link to it down below. Recently upgraded to this sucker here. This one here keeps my head up straight when you're sleeping. And hopefully when you're on a plane, it will restrict the amount of time that you're actually snoring. Another suggestion, another gift, something I never thought I'd use until I got one, packing cubes. These things, I have to say, are pretty good. I thought they were kind of silly until I had one. Until I got some and they were a gift to me. You can take these, you can put your underwear in one, your socks in another, your shirts in another, your swimming shorts in another. They're a good way to keep things organized when you're packing. Uh, and then when you're unpacking everything, everything's right there. You could even leave them in those bags uh, while you're on your cruise as well. Let's see, what else do we have? Well, I was talking about data earlier on those SD cards. Another good thing to bring, a backup SSD hard drive. What you can do with one of these suckers is you can download all your data from your pictures, from your phone and everything onto one of these suckers to make sure you've got enough room on those SD cards from your electronics. This, these are a good suggestion. Uh, I love mine. The one I have is very durable. It's made for travel. Uh, check out the link down below. Now I use, excuse me, I like to film everything with a GoPro. It's GoPro, I'm filming this right now. And when I go around, I like to use uh, this here. This is the GoPro 3-way 2.0 handle. I can put my GoPro up on here and hold it like this as a regular mount. Plus, it extends out so I can talk at it like this. I can even have it at a farther distance as well. What's great about this product is the base here. Clips together, stays together. It can also be a base for a tripod. So I can set up my camera and leave it sitting on the counter and be able to film myself from a distance. Great product. There's a link down below. I have the actual GoPro one. Um, I find it's very sturdy, very effective. Another thing for traveling down below. <clears throat> so you're going to see these little cell phone holders. Let me grab my cell phone. So these little cell phone holders, these travel cell phone holders. What you can do, you can put your phone in it, it moves to the angles, but this thing here, this will grab onto top countertops. Grab onto that tray on the seat in front of you, and then you can watch any videos, any movies you want as well right there. It's also a good mount when it's sitting down on the table in front of you, it'll sit at a nice angle. These things are great, I was given a pair of they fold up nice and tiny. They go into carry-on or wherever luggage you have. I recommend getting a pair of these. Uh, link down below as well. Another thing I wanted to mention is I have a GoPro and a GoPro accessory pack. This thing has every accessory I thought I would ever need. Uh, it's got one of these tripods with the funny arms that lock. They can move and grab onto railings and so on. This one here, I've got my cell phone attachment on it for right now. Uh, I can easily take that off and put the, the uh, GoPro on there whenever I want. I got this one here, the little floaty. This I have used with my GoPro several times and it's wonderful. I was afraid my GoPro would just sink right away because it's the first time I'm using it. But I tell you, it worked perfectly. I kept my GoPro afloat. What else is in here? You've got one of these here where you can mount your GoPro to your handlebars of a bicycle or motorcycle. Oh boy, what else you got in here? You got all these different mounts. You got a special clip mount in here. Where the heck is it? Oh, this one here. This is a magnetic mount. Find something magnetic. I can stick it to my magnet. So you can mount something. You can mount your GoPro to this clip. Use the magnet part and just clip it on wherever you want at whatever angle you want as well. That's pretty cool. 
Uh, also gift ideas, well there's always electronics, like I use a GoPro 10 Pro, uh, I love it, I do most of my videoing with it. I've got a light ring behind me, behind you, uh, and I've got this wonderful backdrop as well that was given to me as a present. Uh, looking forward, my wish list, well, got a link down below to the camera I want. It's a little expensive, maybe I can save up for it. Uh, and all I want to say is if you've watched this far into the video and you like what you've seen so far, hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit that like button. That means a lot more to me than the subscribe button sometimes, actually. And uh, remember, for Christmas, my name is Stuart. This is Ship to Shore Cruise News. And as always, get your Christmas cruise on. Mm -hmm.